Miserably. Peter Quill. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of the League now. No, no, no. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Mm-mm. Friends will be breaking us out soon, huh? Real soon. Plenty of wish Nice that you did. finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked. A little too well, Actually, seeing how we're in jail now. Here, we're all in I prisons of our own making, so Peter. Will. Name is Lady Hellbender. Hey, this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Should we be strategizing on the beat? Just in case. Ain't never needed no strategy before, brother. Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah, get your mitts off of him! Ow! A little bugger just scratched me! Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh, hey guys, didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff chewing one too. Shut up and get in there. Oh. <sighs> Come on, dude, what's your problem? You are, that's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him! Rocket, buddy, come on, we had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of rough. Rocky, dude, woof. We should have buffed you in when we buffed the chance. <laughs> like, buff we are. You don't, woof, woof, woof. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal. What were you talking about? You rough. <laughs> Sorceress, this. Where are we? You would have been still on Norway. <laughs> Osmo, how you doing, buddy? We were just about. <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic gulag. Broke into the... the... Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuit's Peter Quill. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the... No Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. 
Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmos sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sound. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop! <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. His old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now. Not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin God. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <gasps> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed, and we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do? So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not fun kind with ball. Ball. What Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. <clears throat> Face it, dog breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days, before Tila could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. And highly restored. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova ship before moves again. We found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in a leader system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky Raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcast same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and betting parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. We can find Corel and save contracts here. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the guardians of the galaxy. This is what we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. That was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy, but scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for cause. 
I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. So, what is this? Like another elevator? They'll figure it out. Please do stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Whoa! What magnificent witchcraft is this? I know! It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please do step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I moved. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. His time. Investigate Novish. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Goes on the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities, even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. You is incredible. Avengers! Assemble! What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will fight. No. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> Definitely an alternate reality. Hey, look! It's Spider-Man! Wait, is that Earth? Peter! Mom? Come on, you're deep for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay, next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> it's Larkin Hell! Larkin's breath! Okay, here we go! You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo-gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says to find a power conduit. Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. All right, I'll have you guys on solid ground in a tick. Dog report item. Who the flark are you talking to? Okay, got us a battery. Took him long enough. Hey, I'm trying, man. And we're still floating around. Any day now, Peter. Yes, our investigation cannot continue until we exit this room. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine. I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. Either one? It's not brain surgery, just pick one. Uh, here goes nothing. Oh, crap! You touch the green thing, get it, you! Fucking great, well! Everybody, just hold on!
Everybody! Just hold on! Oh, Gravity was not restored. You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what. <sighs> Tell me more about this job, Rodent. Why? Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. When my mom died. We should continue our investigation with the dark. We'll need to get this wreckage out of the way first. I am Groot. Groot's right. Should we call Cosmo? Let him know what we found so far? I am Groot. What do you mean a code word? Groot won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Ooh, oh! The code word is Ride the Stars. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. This is the only way out, but the door's got no juice. Must be on a different circuit. Dog report item. Something caused Nova Corps to abandon the ship. There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. It ain't never his fault, is it, Groot? Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova passkey? Nikki gave it to me to keep it away from her mom. We could sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Nova Corps does to people who steal from them? <laughs> Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? Key piece of information in our investigation. Done in record time. Ah, got a crick in my back because of that. What do you hope to find here, Peter Quill? Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You are fond of this girl. I, I guess. I mean, we actually had a lot in common. Kind of reminded me of me, you know? I do not know. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. Turn the power back on. Or some kind of hint to what happened. Perhaps Lady Hellbender sent a word to me to devour us. Oh, yeah? And how would she know we were here? It is said the Monster Queen has eyes across the galaxy. Now we're exploring maintenance tunnels. No way. Drax's rap sheet. He's gotta see this. So what's the deal with Quill and that kid anyway? The cadet. I don't know. I thought he tried to save her just to impress Corel. Oh no. Please don't. Do 
you know this maintenance worker, Peter Quill? No. You seem relieved. I am. What the flark are you two doing? Let's go already! That's not good. Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. A gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting you was accurate. The longer we bicker, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off the place, Matt? All I'm saying is we're in this up to our necks, and we'll need to work together to get out of it. No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa, ho, ho. look at you, you sexy beast. Stop flirting, Rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Eh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, uh, de-invert... Uh, de divert Rocket. Eh, the console's safety lock because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. Huh. Looks like the arms are stuck without any power. I bet we could jumpstart them. How? Gotta be a power cell somewhere. We gotta get them arms out. Yep, I'm working on it. I could probably get you up higher for a better view. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost! Of course! That looks like a good spot. Going ahead! Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. All right, Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. Right here. On it. That did it. Get back down here. Now let's see what we can... Oh, Scott. Who starts a 
gunfight near a reactor core! They don't seem to be bothered by it! I thought you'd never ask! These freaks ain't much of an Did you notice the rumbling stuff when we flipped the reactor away from the ceiling? We must find a way up there and discover why, for the dog report. Surprise! This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get the cool flying suits. Typical. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make... Whoa! Lark! Larky clamps! They're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Lark is de-re-inverted the core again! Just have to re de re invert it back! After we take some heads! Someone do go so fly! Stay clear of the mine! The wizard's destructions test my patience! Attacking Nova Corps could raise our fine! Tear into them! Cosmo's gonna give us a great play! Don't know which bugs me more! Nova Space Cops or Nova Space Cops! These do not fight with the enemy crews of resistance! Bombs won't do strut! Let's try that again, shall we? Let us resume at full force! This Let's is how go. it's done! Oh, yeah. oh. 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 Good luck with those now! Destroy! Oh. Definitely not the Nova Corps I was hoping to find here! See a stupid helmet? Shoot a stupid helmet! Blow him up! They have come to defend the core! Good! That means we disrupted something! This battle is proving too worthy! You might want to check on up. that, Peter! Hit on a swivel! Did anyone crack that freaking field? I believe the electrical thaumaturge is a priority! It is best to avoid the levitating pods, Peter Quill! Let's see those branches! Oh, you drag! Hold up! No mercy. mercy! These freaky Novas ain't much of an improvement over the real ones! Oh boy, there's a big difference! The 45 guys really started to kick me off! You all put it! Let's kill this guy! You got this one! Cut to the chase! I hate saying up my store on Nova 4 here! I think we're all gonna need some repairs after this! Alright, let's get those clamps off so we can keep moving. I will tear them from their sockets. Ain't gonna work, Musclehead, but this time we've got a control room to play with. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good, we will not be stopped by clamps. Duh! Sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit so I can't release them. I grow tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. A brute in Nova Corps. Yeah, right. Okay, visor's up. Now what? Groot, I think I have an idea. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Kind of a Groot Root Boost thing. I am Groot. He's eager to try the Groot Root Boost. So, is there any chance of Quill getting back together with Lady Law? Groot, need your help, buddy. Root Boost, please. Let's play elevator, Groot. We can stop there. This Thanks.
Okay, I bet I can reroute the power to get myself back out of here. Solid plan. Hell yeah, who's smarter than Novacore? fail at our mission. I mean, that sounds great and all, but we usually fail at our missions. Not this time. Our work here is important. Does that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them. Perhaps the Nova Killer knows how to redirect these machines. She has experience. I was an assassin, not a saboteur. Same results either way, right? Would you rather paint with a paintbrush or a mop? Neither. I use explosives. Somebody else does the mop. Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. What does Alice Hope do, anyways? I see it now. You've got half of it rerouted. Now work on the other room. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Might be gunning for your job soon. You want to trade? I'm happy to sit in the captain's seat. You frequently sit in the captain's seat. I did not just hear that. of his muscle and do this himself. It is simple. Looks like the wall's weak here. Rocket, can you blast through the wall here? We're trying to reroute the power, Quill, not blow up the whole grid. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. And you will have one. The small hairy one is insinuating you are bad luck. Funny how the small hairy one is always right there guiding me. Peter Quill is insinuating that you, Weasel, could be the cause of our problems. Uh, hurry it up, Quill. Lumpy's bugging everybody with his color commentary. Raise that thing, group. <laughs> Here's good. Heave it, Groot! That's great right there. Looks like you did it, Star Pants. Now get into the control room and hit that clamp release. I'll re-re-invert the core at the same time and get us moving again. You know, normally, you're not supposed to travel through dimensions without a quarantine and a decompression on the other side. The clamps are unclamped. Slick. Now get back in here before we leave you behind. Yeah, let's see how far you get without your button pusher. Now that we know the infected Nova are here, we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when we removed their power source. Must be important to their effort here. Can't wait to smash it. 
whatever it is. All right, this is our floor. These doors are sealed tight. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. Come out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? Uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Yay. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Quill. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quill saying he's sorry. Larkin Scott! What are these Franklin Gaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know. Looks like it's siphoning something. Something to do with those cubes? No, no. I gotta get a closer look. Peter Quill, we have been in this hangar before. Hey! Remember the weird ceremony the priest was leading on the rock? Yes, his red robes are burned into my memory. Yeah, yeah! He had some kind of device sucking the life out of those brainwashed bucketheads. Is that what they're doing to Contraxia? No way to know! Not from up here! It's like they're stocking up on something! What the fuck? Rel would never have allowed this to happen to her ship! So, you think she escaped? I don't know! She could be holed up in her office! We're not leaving till we find out what happened! So what is it? I think they're using the ray to fill some kind of battery. Standard galactic I.O. ports. Regalian glass mat separators. Cree cathodes. I understood some of those words. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Energy readings are all over the place, but I can't tell what kind of energy it is. What the? Cog report item. Scott, that's loud. This is where the churchman's shuttle exploded. Yeah, well, it looks a little different now. Because of the giant machine, yes, but I assure you, Peter Quill, this is where you and the girl almost fell to your death. Dog report item. Massive device siphoning energy from contraction. Don't forget the energy cubes. Dog report item. Energy stored in strange cubes. <laughs> huh? Check out that giant ray thing! Can you get us across? Dog report item! We gotta destroy this thing! We don't even know what it is! Plus, we'd probably end up taking out the entire ship! And us with it! I shall add this to my report. Ain't it already in your report? <laughs> Let's avoid the scary beam. Good advice. Guardian of Galaxies, Cosmo Jekyll. Investigation lead him to believe Hollow is key to Galaxy Mystery. What is that noise? We are compiling an extensive dog report. Ah, flark the report. Tell him his magic hand almost got us killed. Contraxia isn't looking so good. They're killing it is what they're doing. Tell Cosmo what is happening. They've got this giant ray thing he pointed at the planet. It's collecting some kind of energy. Have Guardian found Centurion Corel? Not yet. Guardian must find her. May have answers we need. Your experience 
fighting Centurions will be necessary here, woman. Spread out! Slice and dice! You see Cadet Gold anywhere? About okay, Cole? We ain't talking our way out Watch of this one, Cole! Well. Yeah! They do look spooky! My guy keeps uh, charging my shot! Hit him down, crew! Ah, Scott! How do we fight a flying enemy? I'd have hoped the Centurions would have resisted whatever this is! To the bone! With pleasure! I hope they're disconnected from the world mine! Have them all come and succumb to my blades! Never see it coming! Well done! He shall fly no more! Make like a tree! We're gonna stop them, Rocket! some real answers. Have any idea where she is? I'm thinking we check her office. I even know how we can get there. You know a way out of the hangar? Yeah, Drax spotted it on our way in. We can use the hole Nikki and I fell into when Raker's shuttle exploded. You know, we never did talk about why you jumped out with us, Peter. Uh, because it was the right thing to do. We should hurry. More zealots could arrive at any moment. The hole we saw should be on the other side of these moving batteries. Gonna need to find a way to stop them. Start looking around. Huh, that ain't right. Drax, gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. That seemed like a wasted effort. All plans need steps to succeed. Ugh, what new age drivel have you been reading? We need to stop the batteries from moving, Peter. Poor good old Contraxia. How can being shot by a giant vacuum ray not be that bad? Some of the oversized vacuums actually do contract you. A few. None of them good. Really thought that might work. What am I missing? Rocket, can you see where that vent leads? Anything to get out of here. We should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy this machinery. There you go. I've done my part. Yeah, thanks. We still need a way through. Yeah. 
Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. Just hope it does not cause an explosion. Well, let's not stick around to find out. All right, come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained. By, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey! Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. It grumbles more incessantly than a Catapian without breakfast. We really need to get you something to eat. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. Forget Raker. Our focus right now is finding Nikki. Your focus? My focus is not dying on this stoke. Ship. The dog wants us to find Centurion Corel. Right, so we're multitasking. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. I wonder how many other worlds are getting pummeled by one of them things. It is a discouraging thought to me. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corral survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. What if only one is dead? You don't think this is slightly inappropriate given Peter's history? Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met. Whoa! Watch out! You okay? Groot says we should start thinking about exit plans. The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. It does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. Are you? Oh. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Peter Quill? Or perhaps you enjoy contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. There! Breezy peasy! Okay, that was bad, even for you. Ah, uh, more death gas! Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Look, Rocket. I know I suck sometimes. We all suck sometimes. I'm sure it's why we ended up together. I do not suck. The point is, I care about us. But right now, we're not the ones in danger. And Nikki's just a kid, man. Long as we're clear on the you suck part. Clear as day. Rocket, buddy! Nuh-uh. All right, Drax, you know what to do. I am not the one to ask. Cut it down! 
Okay, I'm gonna slice it. <laughs> you sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Corel really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. actually doing to Contraxia? A few. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are. Right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter. Two for two. Thank you, Nikki's passkey. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corel when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. Wait, wait. Is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12, and Quill was with the child's mother 12 years ago. The math is irrefutable. Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's not like they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Skrull fan. Name someone who is a Skrull fan. <laughs> Good point. 